If you want to downgrade from macOS Sequoia to macOS Sonoma without creating a bootable USB drive, without erasing your hard drive and without losing your data, then this new and easy method will definitely get your attention. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends, my long time subscriber will remember that last year I discovered a really simple way to downgrade from the macOS developer beta to the previous version of macOS. In that video, we downgrade macOS Sonoma to Ventura without creating a bootable USB drive and without erasing hard drive. Today we will use the same method for Sikova. In this method, the only thing we need is the macOS Sonoma installer. You can feel free to use your existing macOS Sonoma installer or download it from the Apple support page. And it's really simple. Just go to the Apple support page, scroll down, click on the macOS Sonoma download link and you will be redirected to the App Store. From there, just click on get to download the macOS Sonoma installer. I am not going to download it because I am using my previously downloaded Sonoma installer. Anyway, after downloading the macOS Sonoma installer, you need to create a new volume for installing macOS Sonoma. It's super easy. Just open the Disk Utility app. Now, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. From the left hand side, select the container disk of your hard drive and click on plus button. Choose the name for your new volume and click on the add button. That's it. Now you can close the Disk Utility app. Before downgrading, I want to show you that I am currently using macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 1. I click on macOS 15 to show you the build number. If I click on more info, you can also view the build number there. Now I will keep these two windows open to ensure that I am downgrading from macOS Sequoia to Sonoma. By the way, you can use this method on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Anyway, let's start the downgrading process. Go to your application folder and click on the macOS Sonoma installer. And boom, the macOS Sonoma installer window pops up. Click on continue button and you will be able to install macOS Sonoma on macOS Sequoia. Normally this is not possible, but in macOS Developer Beta 1, you can downgrade this way. Anyway, click on agree button to accept the macOS terms and conditions. Now you can see two volumes. One is macOS Sequoia, which you can't downgrade directly. And the other one is your newly created volume. Select your new volume and click on the continue button. Here type your login password and hit the enter key. That's it. MacOS Sonoma is installing on my Mac while I am still on MacOS Sequoia. This is the first step of installation. It may take some time depending on your hardware configuration. When it's done, your computer will restart and the second and final step of installation will begin. Surprisingly, the second step won't take long. During this process, your computer may restart several times, which is normal, so please don't worry. The entire process is automatic and requires no action on your side, so please sit back and relax. When the process is complete, you will receive a fresh copy of macOS Sonoma. After installation, you may need to enter your macOS Sequoia login password to unlock macOS Sequoia Drive. Now you can see, we successfully installed macOS Sonoma without using a bootable USB drive. Now it's time to copy our data. For that, open Finder and navigate to macOS Sequoia Drive. From here, Copy all the data that you don't want to lose, such as your documents, downloads, movies, music, and pictures. You can do this by using copy-paste 
or drag and drop. After copying the data from macOS Sequoia to macOS Sonoma, open the this utility app. Now go to the view menu and select show all devices. Now you will see the container disk of your hard drive, the macOS Sonoma volume and the macOS Sequoia volume. Now if you want to remove macOS Sequoia, select the macOS Sequoia volume and click on the minus button. Then click on the delete button. This section will remove macOS Sequoia from your Mac. I don't want to do this because I want to use both. So friends, this is how you can downgrade from macOS Sequoia to Sonoma without erasing your hard drive and creating a bootable USB drive. I forgot to mention one thing. When I record this video, Apple has just released the Sequoia Developer Beta 1 and the method I describe in this video work perfectly with Beta 1. I will check this method with Beta 2 and 3 when they are released and then I will update the video description accordingly. So keep in touch and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.